Slough Town against Risden and Diamonds from the Wexham Park Stadium in the third round of the FA Trophy. This is the Risden and Diamonds side. Brian Talbot makes two changes from the side that lost at home to Doncaster at the weekend. Colin West comes in for Adrian Foster and Mark Cooper is in for John Hampshire. The Slough Town side there managed by Graham Roberts. They're currently 18th in the Ryman Premier Division. They were in the conference last season, you may recall Slough. Top player for them, probably number nine, Mark Fiore. Well, it's a pretty cold night at the Wexham Park Stadium. An engagingly ramshackle ground. But uh, a bumpy pitch, a wet pitch. But let's, of course, be thankful that the match is going ahead. Twice this game has been called off, which, uh, of course, evokes memory memories of the Leatherhead match in the FA Cup. But uh, both sides tonight at the Wexham Park Stadium are playing for a uh, place in round four of this season's FA Trophy. Oh, he's been robbed there, Wilson by Steve Brown, and Slough have players over in the centre, one of them's Fiore! The home side take the lead with 15 minutes gone, and uh, the errors we saw on Saturday at Nen Park when Doncaster beat the Diamonds 3-1 on their own patch are, uh, are in evidence again tonight because of bad defensive mistake. Paul Wilson's got to take the majority of the blame for that because he lost out to Steve Brown, and when Brown slipped the ball across with his right foot, a tidy finish by Fiore has punished some slack, Royston and Diamonds defending. Almost at will, but it's not getting them anywhere. It might now with Underwood. Plenty of players in the box. That's West. One all. Well, just as I was saying that for all their possession, the Diamonds weren't making any headway. Wilson slips the ball wide out to Underwood on the left. He delivers a perfect centre and West guides his header down and past Paul Wilkinson in the slough goal. They were behind for only eight minutes and Colin West has scored his sixth goal of the season with a relatively straightforward downward header. The player nearest him was Pearson but he got nowhere near challenging West there. And Rushton are level. Well another slough attack peters out into nothing which I'm sure to the dismay of those uh, cold and no doubt battle weary Slough fans. Now the Diamonds are on the attack with McElhatton. West totally and Marty. If McElhatton can find him, he has. And Rushden have the lead at Wexham Park. 73 minutes gone. Colin West scores his second. But credit a couple of Diamonds players in the move that led to that goal. First, Wooding slipped the ball through to McElhatton, who'd made a splendid run into the inside right channel and cut the ball back exquisitely from the byline where West was waiting to direct a header in the corner look at this McElhatton dinked the ball in Colin West totally and March should have hit the target he did and 2-1 to the conference visitors well the end to tonight's match and Rithden and Diamonds have come to Wexham Park tonight and done in the FA Trophy exactly what they did last season in the football conference winning 2-1 to book themselves a fourth round tie at Woking a week on Saturday the goals came from Colin West in 23 and 73 minutes after Mark Fiore had given Slough a 15th minute lead final score at Wexham Park Slough 1, Diamonds 2